Howdy, everybody. Today I'll say howdy, y'all. You're going to love me when you see what we're making. Your heart's not, though. We're just making some southern fried chicken, <coughs> my way, with a, um, a spicy jalapeno cheddar uh, mash bake. Real gooey and buttery and gross. With a southern boy inside, and I'm wearing a bad shirt because I'm working with oil. Let's look real quick at what I've got going on over here. Um, in the back burner, I've got two little potatoes, two russet potatoes that I've diced. I've put in water, and that's on. And then in this one, I've got a pan uh, with about an inch of canola oil working away. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting like seasick. I got two bowls of flour, a little one, and a big one. Uh, and then I've got an egg wash going on here. One egg and water. I'm going to switch these. One of these bowls of flour, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to. Salt and black pepper. That's going to be the opening bid. Okay. I've got my two pieces of chicken, uh, bone in, skin on. Their thighs, I think. Now, come on, you gotta see the technique. You know what? I should probably move this and do it right in front of you, huh? Alright, let me just rearrange a bit. This is the starter flour. It's gonna go here. An egg wash. And the finishing flour. No. I'm trying to make this uh, the best you can see it. You know what? If you need to go back further. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, I've got Frank's Red Hot, and it's going to go into the egg wash. The egg wash is just going to coat um, the chicken after you put one layer of flour on it. Ew, look at it, it's so gross. I love doing that. Okay, so this one's just got the salt and pepper. Let me just kind of fork it all together. Okay, and this one's going to be the heavily coated one. I'm going to throw a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there, but not too much. I don't want it to burn up. I've got garlic powder. You can be pretty liberal with all of these seasonings, too. Like I said, it's, you know, you're frying it. This is sage. I like a lot of sage in my, uh, when I do it for chicken. This is a little bit of smoked paprika. A lot of pretty colors going on in there, you can't really see. Sorry. A little bit of crushed red pepper. I like spicy food. Um, and then we're going to do a little bit more black pepper in that one, and some more salt. You could definitely use Cajun seasoning instead of the salt. I think I normally do, I just don't feel like doing it. And see all the seasoning in there? Okay, I'm just going to get all that together until the flour looks dirty, like it stuck your foot in it. So ready to go here. I'm going to preheat my oven, see if it's still smoking from earlier. Uh, to 375. This oil is heated. Now all I gotta do is coat the chicken and put it in there. Alright? Um, you don't want to put the chicken in there until it's coated. So let me just get rid of these spices. It doesn't seem like it's hot enough yet. Parm. Frank's red. I might pull that parm back out. Don't get too excited that it's gone. All right, I got some soda to sip on. This is like the best. I got a little pan that I'm, I'm only doing two pieces of chicken. Let's spray my pan real quick. It's gonna go in the oven. Get to the bottom of this pan. I mean pan. I was trying to say pan and pan at the same time. The why I was saying. Okay, get over yourself, right? Okay, here we go. Let's give the the oil a little test. It's not evenly on this burn. Oh, no, it needs a minute. So, let's go ahead and start with this chicken. Gross. Sometimes when you do it like this, you're going to get feathers. Just put it one at a time. Can't see. Your hands are going to get real dirty doing this, too. And the flour is going to go everywhere. Okay, so you just want to... They tend to, uh, these pieces of chicken tend to open up, too. Like all the little flappers come out. So you look, I'm just giving it a, a light coat of the flour. And then I'm going to get it into the egg wash. And make sure you get every ounce that got coated with flour, make sure you get it wet with that egg wash. 
really, really dunk up. I guess I should get a little plate to put these on since that's not ready to go yet. The oil is in there. Okay, are you seeing that? Listen, homemade southern fried chicken is so effing good. Okay, now I'm just putting it in the other. Do my hickey. Okay, this is the heavily seasoned flour. This is the one that's going to be on the outside. You really want to coat it. Get a really nice, thick coating on it. The amount of flour that you put into the bowls doesn't matter. I mean, you don't want to waste a ton, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be like precisely measured. This one you want to kind of get looking like an old man, all wrinkly. See, with all the different folds. See that? Looks kind of grody, yeah? That's what you want. I'm just going to pop it on a plate right here and do the other one. <laughs> By that time, the uh, we should be good to go. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. First flour. This one's opening up a lot. you got to get all those crevices. Really gut them. Really gut them. Okay. Egg wash. Ah! Egg wash on my pants. Egg wash on my pants. Release that, Kesha. Okay. Drippy, drippy. And the heavily seasoned one. Now my, my potatoes are boiling away. Which is fine. I'm of the opinion that you can't really over mash potatoes. But I'm of a lot of opinions that don't make any sense and have no bearing in reality. So, Alright, so the same thing. See what I'm doing? Dirty, flaky flour. I don't make it sound appetizing, do I? But you really want it coated. And you can't be prissy with this, okay? You gotta just get your finger in it. Look how coated that is. Oh my god! It's gonna be so good. Okay, these guys, I'm gonna hang out here. I'm just gonna rinse my hand off, and then I'm gonna flick that up. Oil should be ready to go. Now you're done with the egg wash, and you're done with the two flours. I wouldn't recommend uh, saving the flowers for anything. Maybe Mother's Day. Just kidding. Because you had raw chicken in there, so. Right. Right. Alright. Alright, that's ready to go. Let me get these out of the way. Let's get our chicken in there. We got my fancy tongs. Exactly what you want. Just stand back. Gorgeous. <laughs> We're just going to let it go for, I don't know, four, four or five minutes on each side. You just kind of want to check it and look at it. We're just going to let that go, flip it, and then we're going to finish it off in the oven. Okay? We're going to give it a nice crispy outside. The finishing it in the oven is going to ensure that it's got a nice juicy inside and we don't overcook it. If you try to fry it all on the stove top, uh, chances are you're going to overcook it. I'm not saying you don't know what you're doing. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Let me show you what else I've got here. This is going to go into my potatoes. That's just a reserve. It's one heaping tablespoon. I can't say tablespoon. Of uh, the minced garlic from the jar. And two of the canned jalapenos with seeds that I've just chopped up. Okay? Oven's preheating and not smoking. This is good to go. Those are boiling away. This is coming along very quickly. Getting rid of the flour. Put it in the sink. Usually when I make this, I make huge portions. Like, you know, 10, 12 pieces of chicken. And it is just my whole kitchen is a big flour pot. But this is one of the first things that I really uh, learned how to cook. This is the one of the first things that I learned how to cook. So this is very old hat to me, and I sort of learned the process. You know, so much of cooking is getting the timing down. All right, I'm just going to show you. Can you come closer? I don't want to spackle you with, you know, bird gut. But look how that's coming up. See that? And you want it to get a little brown on each side. Ah! This is the first guy we put in there. See that? Can you see it? Kind of. Alright, I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. So why don't you just hang tight. Um, I'm just going to let them go like that and I'm going to flip them over. I'll come show you what they look like flipped over. 
putting them in the um, thing, and then we're going to bake them. I'll assemble my mash for you, and we're going to bake that um, in the toaster oven, and then we're just going to have a really great southern fried meal. Okay? So uh, come back in just a few.